is the first line slowly. So you're going to begin, you've got your middle finger on the 3rd fret 6th string and you're going to play that open 1st string. And then I lay a bar down and play the outer 2 strings. And then the 2nd finger goes to the 3rd fret on the 1st string. So that figure is like this. And then 1st finger goes to the 2nd fret and then open 5 string. And then the first finger goes to the second fret on the fifth string. Pinky goes to the fourth fret on the second string. Now you can certainly go 1 3 here. I tend to go 1 4. For me, 1 3 is a bit more of a stretch, and it's just easier for my hand to go 4. So we've got this. And then we go open 5, open 1. And then while your first finger's down, your middle finger can start heading over to the third fret, sixth string. And then you'll lay a bar down. Third finger goes to the second string. Fourth finger goes to the second string. And then you use your fourth finger to slide down to the third fret. And then first finger goes to the first fret. So that measure goes like this bar, third finger, fourth finger, finger slides down, and then the last measure of this line we've got three on the sixth string, open second string. Second finger goes to the third fret third string, open five, and then I go one four on the fifth and fourth strings. You can certainly go one three, and then open three, open five, and then we have a second fret, third string. So that measure goes like this. So that whole line, one more time. practicing this piece is to play just the top line, get that down, and then play the bottom line and get that down. So the top line by itself is and the bass line is going to go So practice them individually, get them to the point where you really feel comfortable with it, and then try and add the other parts. Alright, measure four slowly goes like this. Measure four is a bit of a finger twister, and as I'm playing it, this is the one measure that usually causes me grief. The more complex that something is, the smaller the chunk of music that I would use to practice. So for example, in measure four, I would practice beat one to the first half of beat two. Just so measure four. You know, practice that move. You're beginning on the third fret, sixth string plus the open second string. Second finger goes down to the second fret, third string. And then first finger goes to the second fret fifth string plus the open three. So I would just practice that. Just over and over until you feel really comfortable with it. And then try beat two to the first half of beat three. So here's beat two. And practice that. Then try beats one and two and the first half of beat three together. And practice that over and over again. 
and then try going from beat three to beat four, the first part of beat four. You know, just over and over again. And then try from the beginning of the measure to that point. And so on. So you break up, you break the music into really small chunks, and then you start combining these little chunks together after practice them over and over again. All right, measure five is the same thing as measure one, the full measure one. Measure six is the same thing as measure two. And measure seven is somewhat the same as measure three. And by somewhat, I mean not a whole lot. So here is measure seven. So you begin with third finger on the third fret, sixth string, play that plus the open second string. And then you've got these two free, so they can start heading to this, which is third fret, fifth string, second fret, third string. Take off your first finger, and then we have this little trill. So middle finger goes on the fifth fret, fifth string, and the first finger goes on the fourth fret, fourth string. And usually the way I play this is I begin with the, the trilled note down. So I will have my third finger down already on the fifth fret fourth string. And then I pull off and then do the hammer on pull off thing. And then you hit the fifth string again and then open third. That measure again goes like this slowly. So measures four, five, six, and seven slowly go like this. All right, measure eight has a G chord. It's the bottom end of a G chord. Here's a full G chord. And here's the bottom end of that. I'm just hitting the bottom four strings. The six, the four. Wow, I can't count. The six, the five, the four, and the three. And then you go back to the beginning. And so on. So when you come back and take the second repeat, you're going to have that G chord again. All right, so the latter part of measure nine going into measure 10 sounds like this. So a good way of practicing this is just to play the line separately. Practice the bass. make sure to really master that and then try adding them together. So if you go to measure 10, you've got this, second finger on the second fret and then pinky on that third fret. And then we go to here and then the first finger goes to the second string. And then we have this and then we have this. And then the first finger is going to slide up to the C, 3rd fret, 5th string. And again, I would break this up into small chunks to practice it. Like, you know, make sure you have that memorized and, and mastered. Try, going, try doing it, playing it backwards. Sometimes that can help. And then if you look at measure 10, you know, practice the next move. Just practice that over and over again. And in the next section. And then try that whole little section. Alright, measure 11 sounds like this. So you're going to start here, you're going to start in the third position. 
first finger is going to be on that C with third fret fifth string. Play that and then you open first. And then you just, you're going to stay in this position, you're going to drop the middle finger here on the G sharp fourth fret, and then you're going to drop your third finger on the B, which is fourth fret third string. So if we go, and as you're playing that, bring the first finger over to the D third fret second string, because then you have that note. So you've got this, going to this, and then you slide that first finger down to the first fret on the second string, plus the open five. So that measure is going to go, and then it goes, so you have open four and open two, and then second fret on the third string. All right, and then measure 12, you're going to start with the 1 and 2. 1 is 1st fret 3rd string, 2 is 2nd fret on the 4th string. And then the 3 is going to go down to the 2nd fret 3rd string plus the open 5. So you've got this. Followed by open 2. And then your 1st finger is going to the 1st fret 2nd string, and then 2nd fingers on the 2nd fret 4th string. And then open six and open two. Second finger goes to the second fret third string. So that measure is going to go like this. All right, measure 15 sounds like this. In this measure, the bass gets to shine there for a couple of beats. You're going to go. So I'd practice that separately. Open five, hammer on, open five, second finger on the G, third fret, first finger on the second fret. And then add that second finger. Now that second finger is going to stay. You're going to go pinky on the third fret, second string. Play that note plus the open four. So that measure is... Pinky goes over. Measure 14, we have this. All right, so measure 14 begins with the third fret sixth string plus the open two. And then we have this chord right here. Bach is reusing material. The, all of this material comes from measure 10 and measure 11. So if you get a sense of deja vu, that's, that's why you're getting it. We have that, then we have this move again. First finger goes to the C, third fret on the fifth string, plus the open one. And then we have this, like we did in measure 11. And then it goes down. And then he does something a little different here. So it's the same pattern as what we had in measure 14. We had this one, but now we've moved it up to the fourth fret. So the first half of measure 15 sounds like this. And then your third finger and your first finger are going to slide here. So first finger ends up at the fifth fret, fifth string, and third finger ends up at the seventh fret, second string. So you've got this, and then they slide up, and then you're going to take these two and they're going to slide them down to the first fret on the fifth string and the second fret on the second string, and then open first. So that measure is going to go like this. And then we have this, slide up, slide down. And then you're going to slide these again for measure 16. And so you end up with first finger on the second fret, fifth string, third finger on the third fret, second string. And then you have this A7 chord. Take off your middle finger. And then we have this. Now a lot of times for this, second finger is going to be on the third fret third string and then your third finger is going to be on the fourth fret on the fourth string a couple ways of doing it most people have a hard time with the pinky in that situation doing a trill well you can certainly do it 
but it's easier, I think, to do one and two with the trill here. And you can go down and get that second fret there. What I often do is just do a little pull off. After you have the A7, open, I'll set it up, and I'll do a pull off. So I can get that clearly. And then my first finger is free there, and then you have the open second string. All right, so measures 13, 14, 15, and 16 super slowly. So here's measure 17 slowly. So we have another measure where the bass line moves, just like measure 13. Uh, this time it moves ascending, whereas in measure 13 it was descending for the most part. Uh, this is actually what's called an inversion. So he inverts measure 13. So in measure 13 we went up down, down, down. So when you invert something, you do the opposite. So if something goes up, you make it go down. And if it goes down, it goes up. So now in measure 17, we go down, and then up, and then up, and then up. So the way I do it, I play this just going up the fifth string. So I start with the second finger, pull off to one, back to the second, and then I go up to the C sharp and then to the D sharp. I begin with the two on the B second fret. I hit that note plus the open second. And then you pull off to one and then go back to two. And then pinky goes to the fourth fret. And then first finger goes up to the sixth fret. So again, it goes like this. Then you're all set for the next part of the measure. So everything is on the seventh fret. I've got the middle finger on the sixth string, I've got the third finger on the second string, and the pinky is on the first string. You hit the outer two strings, followed by the third finger on the second string. And then your third finger becomes a guide finger. So if we take a look at measure 18, it's going to go up to the ninth fret. So we were here, and the third finger goes on the second string, goes up to the ninth fret, second string, and you drop your first finger, the seventh fret, on the fifth string. So if we go do that little figure, it's gonna go. And then we're gonna shift down. We're gonna go this way, two frets. So we're gonna keep that same position as far as where the fingers are, just move them to the fifth fret. Hit those two strings again and then open first string. And then we're gonna go down to the fourth fret and do this chord. So the first finger is on the fourth fret, fifth string, and the third finger is on the fifth fret on the first string. Measure 18 for those first three goes like this. Shift down, open first, and then we go to there. And then for the next beat, we're gonna go like this. So third finger will be on the fifth fret, second string, and then first finger will be on the third fret, first string. And you're gonna hit the fifth and the second strings, followed by that first string. So that measure goes like this. And then here is what measure 19 sounds like slowly. So what he's got going on here is a bit of a what's called a sequence. It's not exactly he makes changes here and there. 
but he just takes a, a musical figure and it moves it down in this case by step so you've got this then he takes that same basic figure and moves it down and then same basic figure moves it down and then he changes it up here Measure 19, we're going to start here. So first fingers on the second fret, first string, and then you have your open four. And then you've got this. So second finger goes to the third fret on the fifth string plus the open first. And then you go to that second string where the third finger is waiting for it. Then we go to this. So first finger I'm using on the fifth string, second fret, and then I use pinky on that third fret on the first string. So that measure up to that point goes like this. And then I lay a bar. So bar at three, you're gonna hit the sixth string and the second string. And that gets takes care of the G and the D. Pinky goes up on the second string up to the sixth fret to get that F natural. So that measure complete goes like this. Bar. And then we have this. I just keep the bar down. And I put my third finger on the fifth fret second string. And then we have this. Kind of a stretch. First finger, if you can see that. First finger goes to the second fret fifth string. And the pinky is going to go to the fifth fret on that first string. Open first, and then we're going to go here. Second finger is on that second fret first string plus the open five. And then another bar, which is going to be at the second fret. You're going to hit the sixth string and the second string. And then pinky goes up to the E, fifth fret, second string. So that measure sounds like this. So that line slowly sounds like this. Let's finish this bad boy up. Measure 21 slowly sounds like this. So we begin here, second fret with the first finger on the fifth string, and then pinky is on the fourth fret on the second string. And then open second string. And you're gonna do a little scale passage down, so second finger goes up to the third fret. Back to the second fret, open, and then you're gonna go pinky on the fourth fret on the sixth string plus the open first, followed by the second string. I usually play this section pretty loudly, and I, I play that open second string, the second beat, I usually play that as a rest stroke. This is sort of the push to the end and so I like this to be nice and loud. So I'll go. All right, measure 22 sounds like this. So you're gonna begin here. Second finger is on the first fret, second string, and then you're third finger is on the second fret, fourth string. Now the reason why I do that is it helps facilitate the next the next chord. Besides the the measure before, you're coming from this position. So it's kind of a leap to get to here and it's kind of a leap to get like this. And so this sets up my next position whereas if I'm like this, then I got to change things around which is why I use the, the two and the three there. So if we go, 
Now we're at measure 22. And then we're gonna hit the second and the fifth string. And then hit the fourth string. And then these two are gonna slide so that the second finger is on the third fret on the second string, and then your third finger is on the fourth fret on the fourth string. And I lay a bar down just to pick up that, that second fret on the third string. You don't have to lay a bar. Uh, you can play it like this. It's just for me, it's easier just to drop it like that, and then you're gonna move on to a different chord. So if you look at the third beat in that measure, you've got the third finger on the third fret sixth string. You have that note plus the open second. And then you're gonna hit the first fret on the fourth string. So up to that point in that measure, we've got And then we go one, two. So first fingers on the first fret, second string, and then second finger is on the second fret, fourth string, followed by the open third. So that whole measure goes like this. And then we have a bar. So bar at the second fret, you're gonna hit the open, you're gonna hit the sixth string and the third string. Drop the third finger on the fourth fret, fifth string. You're gonna slide this up, bar at the fourth fret. And if you do that, you're in perfect position to play this beat. You're gonna hit the fifth string and the third string, followed by the fourth string. So you've got this, and then up. Notice your second finger here just drops on the fifth fret, fourth string. You play that note plus the open six. And then you go to the second position, and you're gonna hit the F sharp fourth string with the third finger. Play that plus your open five. Go to the first finger. So that measure slowly sounds like this. Slide up. Measure 24. So beginning of measure 24, you're going to start here. You got the second finger on the second fret, fifth string, first finger, is on the first fret, fourth string. And then you'll slide it up. You're gonna hit the open five and the first finger on that second fret, fourth string. And you go same string to the fourth fret. And then again, same string now to the fifth fret. Plus your second finger goes on the second fret, fifth string and then go back to three and then go back to one so slowly you're gonna go like this and the very last note are two E's we have an open sixth string and then your first finger is covering that E on the fourth string so that whole line goes like this. Mm -hmm.